everyone um, welcome back so welcome to the course i'm going to show you um, what are the different and important urls that we will be using in the entire video series so obviously this is the main front end uh, trade.fires.in where you have uh, the chart um, on the right side you have the what list and at the bottom you have your positions orders all positions holdings your total funds all that information and obviously you can uh, click all these different icons here to get more information about the portal itself so that's the basics uh, in case you have not opened the account you can go to fires.in to open an account the next very important part is the community so fires.in slash community this is a very important thing you can create a login here and sign up essentially whenever you get any kind of uh, you get stuck or you have a doubt you, you are more than welcome to put in your questions here and a lot of times someone from the fires community will help you um, in fact i am also uh, answering most of the doubts here so you can just put in your doubts here and we'll help you um, so whenever you have a doubt you can see here someone was getting some error and someone from the team would quickly uh, help and and uh, with, with the with the actual solution but now let's come to the more important part the important part is the documentation so in the entire series i'm going to keep using this documentation so how you go to this documentation is go to myapi.fires.in and then click on v3 docs so currently we are on on version 3 and um, it's a very detailed documentation in fact most of the codes that i've taken are from here so usually uh, how we will be working is we will get the information about different functions here in the middle and a code snippet is also shown on the right side so for example for node you can just click on node here and you will be able to get a sample code and sample result as well so we as i said we will be using this extensively in the entire series but uh, now you, what you have to do is create your app so obviously you have to create an api app to so that our our code can connect to to the fires platform so you have to go to myapi.fires.in slash dashboard then click on create app, put any name. Let's say you are putting um, node, under, node underscore fires. Redirect URL, please put https colon slash slash www.google.com. And in description, again, you can put node here. Then no need to put anything in the web books. We, we will not be using that. Then you will have to give all the app permissions. So give all these app permissions. And I accept and click create app. Now, what are these app permissions? The profile detail basically mean that using the API, I will be able to get information about my account. Transaction info means read only. That means I will be able to read what are the orders that I've placed, what are the positions, what are my holdings. Order placement means that I will now be able to actually place orders also using the API. Quotes and market data means I will be able to get the live data of any symbol. And historical data means I will be able to get historical data, basically open, high, low, close it of any symbol that I want. So once you create the app, you will see that it will probably take about five seconds and your app will be created right at the bottom. I have other apps also, but this is a new app that I've just created in front of you. And the important points will be the app ID here and the secret ID. The, we will be using them um, in during our coding part. Um, also remember that right now it is showing act inactive. I mean, it's, it's this is active. My my old API, this is inactive right now. It's not, it does not have a green button. So when I show you the authentication part, you will actually see how this will become active also. So welcome, as I said, uh, I, we will be going through the different codes now. So see you in the next videos.